Planet Earth in the Solar System Introduction Since ancient times, humans have looked up at the shining objects in the sky and wondered about them. Today, we know a lot about these heavenly or celestial bodies and about the universe with the help of instruments like the telescope and artificial satellites. The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. Some of the main heavenly bodies in the universe are stars, planets, satellites, asteroids, comets, etc. Our very own Earth is also a part of this universe. The Universe It encompasses all life. If we look at the sky in the night, we will see many stars twinkling, even sun is a star. All celestial bodies shining in the sky such as sun, moon, etc. constitute the universe. Stars Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made up of gases. They have their own light and heat, which they emit in large amounts. These celestial bodies are called stars. Stars are very far away from us. The sun is the nearest to the earth. The next nearest star is Alpha Centauri. Constellations While watching the night sky, you can see stars in groups forming certain shapes. These are called constellations. Ursa Major, Big Bear, is one such constellation. It is shaped like a bear. One of the most easily recognizable constellation is the small bear or Saptarishi. It is a group of seven stars that forms a part of the large Ursa Major constellation. The north star indicates the north direction. It is also known as pole star. It always remains in the same position in the sky. We can locate the position of the pole star with the help of the Saptarishi. Some celestial bodies have no light of their own. They are lit by the light of the stars. Such bodies are called planets. The word planet comes from the Greek word planete, which means wanderers. But the planets do not wander just in any direction in space. Each has its own fixed path, orbit and period of revolution. The earth on which we live is also a planet. The moon is a natural satellite of earth and moves around it. Galaxies There are millions of stars in the universe. They occur in groups. Millions of stars together form a group called a galaxy. There are millions of galaxies in the universe. Scientists have given names to them. Our sun belongs to a galaxy called the Milky Way Galaxy, Akash Ganga. The Solar System The solar system is the name given to the collection of heavenly bodies that circle around the sun. The sun, eight planets, satellites, millions of asteroids, meteoroids and countless comets make up the solar system. We can think of the solar system as the family of the sun. The sun The sun is at the center of the solar system around which the earth and other planets revolve. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. The light from which the sun takes about 8 minutes to reach earth. The temperature at the center of the sun is estimated to be about 15 million degrees Celsius. At its surface, the temperature is about 6000 degrees Celsius. The light from the sun gets reflected from the planets and their moons make it possible for us to see them since they do not produce their own light. Planets A planet is a heavenly body which revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit. There are eight planets in our solar system. As per the distance from the sun, these planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The first four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are called the inner or terrestrial planets because they are made of rocks. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are called outer planets. Mercury It is the smallest planet and the closest to the Sun. 
It takes only about 88 days to complete one round along its orbit. Venus Venus is the brightest planet and visible in the sky at sunrise and sunset. Hence, it is referred to as the morning and the evening star. Earth The Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun and the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It appears as a large greenish-blue disk with blue oceans and sparkling white polar ice caps. Mars It looks red in colour due to bright reddish or yellowish patches on its surface. That is why it is known as the red planet. Jupiter It is the largest planet. It is the fastest rotating planet taking less than 10 hours for rotation. It is so huge that it may contain 1300 Earths in it. Saturn It is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system. It is nine times as large as the Earth. It looks beautiful because of the rings around it. Uranus It has five known satellites and it takes 84 years for completing one revolution. Neptune It appears blue in colour and takes 165 years to travel once around the Sun because of its longer orbit. It has no air and is very cold. Planets revolve around the Sun in their definite paths known as orbits. There are different paths for different planets. The Earth, a unique planet. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun, 149.6 million kilometers away from the Sun on an average. It takes 365.26 days to orbit around the Sun. It is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It is slightly flattened at the poles. This is why its shape is described as a geoid. Geoid means an Earth-like shape. Earth is considered a unique planet because it is the only planet in the solar system to have water on its surface. Because of its distance from the Sun, its rotation, its atmosphere and its temperature is moderate. It is neither too hot nor too cold. The Earth has atmosphere which contains life, giving gas, oxygen and other useful gases. We are also fortunate to have water cycle on the Earth for it makes water continuously available to the living beings. The Earth is the only planet in the solar system where life exists. This is because of its favourable temperature and other conditions. In ancient time, people thought that the Earth is flat in shape. First, Aristotle and later Copernicus declared that the Earth is a sphere. It bulges at the equator and is flat at the poles. Thus, its equatorial diameter is more than its polar diameter. Planet Earth revolves around the Sun. It completes one revolution around the Sun in 365 and one fourth days. In size, it ranks fifth after Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The presence of land, water and air on the Earth gives it a unique position in the solar system. Water occupies 71% of the total surface of the Earth. When astronauts first saw the Earth from the outer space, it looked blue in colour due to the water present all over it. So, the Earth is often called the blue planet. Earth's place in the universe The Earth is one of the planets that revolve around the Sun. The Earth revolves around the Sun in an elliptical path. Millions of stars together form a group called galaxy. There are millions of galaxies in the whole universe. Earth belongs to the Milky Way galaxy. The distance in the universe are measured in light years. The distance that light travels in one year. The light of the nearest star Proxima Centauri to the Sun reaches on Earth in about four years. The Moon, the Earth's only companion. The Earth's satellite is called the Moon. Its diameter is about one-sixth of the Earth's diameter. It has no light of its own. It reflects the light of the Sun. 
The moon revolves around the earth in about 27 days and 7 hours. It takes exactly the same time for it to complete one rotation about its axis. Therefore, we see only one side of the moon. As there is no air or water on the moon, it is very hot during the day while nights are very cold. Phases of the moon. The moon's appearance changes as it moves around the earth. These changing shapes or the changes in the moon's visible shape are known as the phases of the moon. New moon and full moon are the most common phases. New moon. When the moon is between the earth and the sun, the part of the moon which faces the earth is in complete darkness. This is called the new moon. Full moon. When the moon shows its sunlit surface, this phase of the moon is known as full moon. Space explorations have provided a lot of information about the moon's surface. An American astronaut, Neil Armstrong, was the first man to land on the moon. They all show that the moon's surface is very rough and uneven. There is no air or water on the moon. It is very hot during the day while the nights are very cold. As a result, there is no life on the moon. Satellites The satellites are small celestial bodies that move around planets in the same way as planets move around the sun. They are popularly known as moons. Artificial Satellites Satellite is an artificial body designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication. They are carried into spaces by rockets and placed in the orbit around the Earth. They have many uses like they take pictures of cloud formations which help in weather forecasting and TV broadcasting. For example, India's INSAT satellites are used to take such pictures. Some other satellites are IRS, EDUSAT, etc. Moon The moon is the Earth's only natural satellite, lying at a distance of about 384,000 km away from the Earth. Its diameter is only about one quarter of that of the Earth. It appears big because it is nearer to our planet. The moon moves around the Earth in about 27 days. It takes exactly the same time to complete one spin. The moon does not have conditions favorable for life because there is no atmosphere and without it, there is no sound, no water, no vegetation and no life. The surface of the moon is full of craters. There are mountains, ridges and plains. These cast shadows on the moon's surface. Look at the full moon and observe these features. Asteroids These are very small planet-like bodies which revolve around the Sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It is believed that a big planet exploded soon after its birth and formed a belt in which the planets of Mars and Jupiter. The largest asteroid is the Ceres. Comets Comets are the most exciting of the heavenly bodies and have been objects of man's curiosity. They are made up of ice particles of gas and meteoric fragments. They revolve around the sun in long oval paths. A well-developed comet has a tail which is always turned away from the sun. The head forms the brightest portion of the comet. Comets take years to complete their orbits. Halley's Comet is one of the important comets which visits the Earth regularly. It is visible once in 76 years. Meteoroids The small pieces of rock which move around the Sun are called meteoroids. Meteoroids are also called shooting stars because when they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they start burning. These burning pieces cause a flash of light as they fall. They could cause great damage if they fall directly on the Earth's surface. Meteor fragments that reach the ground are known as meteorites. A large meteorite creates a crater when it falls. About 50,000 years ago, a meteorite created a huge crater called Meteor Crater in Arizona, United States of America.